Hello to everyone. My name is uh, Noslen Hernandez, and I'm going to present uh, a work entitled Retrieving the Structure of Probabilistic Sequences of Auditory Stimuli from EEG Data. This is a work in collaboration with Alain Duarte, Guilherme Oz, Ricardo Freiman, Antonio Vargas, and Claudia Vargas. This work is already published in the Scientific Reports uh, Journal. And as uh, Claudia mentioned in her talk, this uh, research is part of the Neuromath project called the Statistician Brain aim at study the conjecture that the brain identifies statistical regularity in the sequence of a stimuli. This is a classical conjecture dating from the Helmholtz work. And uh, there are some experimental evidence in literature uh, supporting uh, this conjecture. This conjecture has been formally addressed in a previous article as it was uh, explained in Aline's talk. And in the probability framework that Aline introduced, uh, the conjecture that the brain identifies a statistical regularity from sequence of stimuli uh, can be rephrased by claiming that the brain identifies the context tree used to generate the sequence of auditory stimuli. So if this is the case, a signature of the context tree that was used to generate the stimuli uh, should be encoded in the brain activity. Uh, therefore, the question of interest uh, for us is uh, whether this signature can be identified in the EEG data recorded during the experiment. For this, we designed an experimental protocol in which uh, volunteers were exposed to sequence of auditory stimuli while they have the EEG signals uh, recorded. The auditory stimuli consists of strong bits, uh, weak bits, and silent units. The strong and weak bits uh, consist of hand claps. And uh, we use uh, two different context tree models to generate the sequence of auditory uh, stimuli. Uh, one that we call a uh, ternary tree or ternary condition, and the other one we call a uh, quaternary condition. As Claudia mentioned, uh, in the sequence generated by the ternary model, a strong bit is followed by two weak bits and in sequence generated by quaternary condition, uh, a strong bit uh, is followed by two weak bit, but besides that, we have a constitutive silent unit separating the two weak bits. At, at, it can be observed uh, here. In both cases, with a small probability and in an independent way, the weak bits can be uh, replaced by a silent unit. Here I highlighted in red uh, some of the randomly chosen weak, bit, weak, weak bits that will be replaced by silent units. So at the end, we have sequences of this type, for example. And uh, here I summarize the rules that uh, governs the generation of this kind of sequence. This is the this is the tree of context for the ternary condition and the associate family, uh, the associate transition probability uh, in a way that, for example, if the, if the sequence of past symbol ends with the string 2, 2, 1, or 2, 0, two zero then the next symbol will be 0 with probability 0 0.2, uh, 1 with probability 0 0.8, and the symbol two never occurs, af occurs after this uh, string. Uh, this is the transitions uh, allowed and the corresponding probability when the sequence of past uh, symbols ends with those uh, strings. And the same we can observe, observe here for the quaternary uh, condition. Besides uh, the ternary 
And the quaternary condition, we consider a sequence of stimuli generated by choosing at each step either 0, 1, or 2 with equal probability and uh, independent, independently from the past, uh, from the past uh, symbols observed. This condition was introduced to shuffle cars uh, before the participants uh, were exposed to an example. Uh, so each participant was exposed to two uh, blocks of sequence of auditory stimuli. Here are uh, the representation of these two blocks, each one of 12.5 minutes. These blocks were separated by a period of time ranging from 5 to 10, to 10 minutes. And each of these blocks <clears throat> was composed by three sub-blocks. Uh, these two blocks were separated by one minute of, of uh, silent interval, and uh, each sub-block is a concatenation of a one minute sequence of auditory uh, units generated either by the ternary, the independent, or the quaternary condition. Each sequence of auditory unit was separated from the net one by a 15 second silent interval and each uh, sub-block, as I, as I mentioned, was separated from the next one by one minute silent interval. Uh, the, the EEG data was uh, <clears throat> acquired using a 128 channel system and uh, for half of the volunteer, the starting uh, bigger block contains two block of the type uh, ternary, independent, and um, quaternary, as is shown here in the in the slide. And uh, the inverse order was used with the other half of, of participants to to balance po a possible order effects. So our as, as, as raw data, we have uh, an, an, an EEG signal uh, record according to this uh, block structure for each electrode and each participant. This is our raw data. This raw data was uh, pre-processed. Uh, there, there, the, there were used uh, different pre-processing steps that I summarize here. But uh, at the end, we, we uh, finalized with a segmented uh, EEG signal. signal. Uh, the signal was segmented uh, using window, windows of 450 milliseconds, starting uh, 50 milliseconds before the, the presentation of the stimuli. So, for example, in this in this uh, in this image, we we can see an example of a realization of of the of the ternary uh, condition and the associate AG chunk for each of the of the units. So, for the statistical analysis, we had a set of participants that, in our case, are nineteen uh, uh, individuals. From the 128 electrodes we considered for the analysis, uh, 18 electrodes that uh, form part of the international 1020 uh, system. Here are the, the names of those uh, 18 electrodes considered in the analysis. And uh, our data then uh, can be um, formalized as, as follows. We have for each participant V and each electrode E, we, we will have a sequence of, of stimuli, and this is for, for a fixed condition. We have a sequence of stimuli, and we have the segment of EEG data recorded during the exposure to the auditory uh, stimuli. Uh, so this, this, uh, this data that we have on each participant and each electrode uh, is a bivariate stochastic change. And we assume that it's a realization of a sequence of random objects dri driven by a context model. 
as, as, a, linear, as a linear define. So we can use the model selection procedure, procedure that uh, Aline is uh, explained, and we get as a result an estimate context tree. So we will have an estimate context tree for each participant and each electron. After estimating one context tree per electron and per participant, we end up on each electron E with a set of context tree. And we summarize this set of context tree in a unique in a unique uh, context tree that we call the, the mode context tree. And how is the mode context tree compute? Well, we begin with the context tree of maximal height uh, four uh, in, our, in, our, in our case. And for each node of this uh, tree, we count the number of time it was selected or it, wa it was identified, identified as a context in this set of tree. So for example, here we have the string 00. zero. We count the number of times 00, zero uh, results a context on this tree. And uh, we have here one, two, three, and so on. So we have that zero, zero uh, was 11 times a context in this set of three. This is repeat for all the nodes. And we, we select as context or as leaf of this tree, uh, the nodes that satisfies these two conditions that appear here in the step three. The first condition is that no node in the subtree induced by the node that uh, is being analyzed, for example, no node in the subtree induced by 00, zero has greater va value than it. Here, no node here has greater value than 11. And the second condition is that no node in the path from 00, zero to the root which is highlighted here in blue, uh, satisfies the first condition. So here I have two nodes from 0, 0 to the root. This node does not satisfy condition one because there are several nodes here with a value greater than four. This node does not satisfy condition one because there are several nodes here with value greater than zero. So as this does not satisfy one and this does not satisfy one, and all these here are lower than 11, then this node 00, zero uh, will be a context or a leaf of the mode context tree. And this analysis uh, is done uh, for all the nodes and we end up with, uh, for example, in this case, in this example, uh, the leaf will be the node uh, highlighted in, in red. Here are the results. For the quaternary condition, we we put here the structure of the quaternary tree uh, in order to compare with the mode context tree that we obtain on each electron, and we use a color scale to to illustrate the similarity of the mode context tree with the quaternary tree. Uh, the near to the to, to, to the dark green, the more similar the mode and the quaternary, and the near to the dark pink, the more dissimilar. And this was the, 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 the way the, the formula used uh, to compute this uh, similarity. Oh, well, what we, what we can... Uh, highlight from these results is that uh, we, we, we can observe that in five uh, frontal uh, electrode, one temporal electrode and two and two parietal electrodes, which are this in dark green, the mode contact tree exactly match the quaternary tree. Uh, besides, um, among the green ones, the one was misidentified as, as a context only here in F7, 
And uh, for those uh, FA, C4, C3, and PC, we have that 00, zero was also misidentified as a content. So you can, you can see that here in, in those uh, <clears throat> that I mentioned is missing the first order uh, context. And for those electrodes in uh, pink, we have uh, two kinds of problems. The first one is that one was misidentified as a contents, and the second one is that uh, also uh, zero, 00 was misidentified as a context. Uh, this uh, summarizes what we obtain uh, in the quaternary condition. For the ternary condition, uh, the mode context tree match the ternary tree uh, on three electrodes, electrodes that you can uh, see here, FP2, F7, and G8. Uh, 12 out of 18 electrodes correctly identify uh, two as a context. Also, 16 out of 18 electrodes uh, contain the subtree 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, this uh, subtree here. And uh, surprisingly, this other subtree, uh, the 001020, was correctly identified only in three uh, electrodes, which uh, are the ones who uh, are the ones in which the, 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 the correct tree structure was obtained. In the in some of the pink ones. In some of the electrodes uh, highlighted in pink, we 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 observe that uh, a second uh, order dependency, which did not exist in the original structure, uh, appears. That are these uh, subtree branching from the node corresponding to the string two. This here, here. To evaluate the interindividual uh, variability, we calculate the distance between the mode context tree and the context tree retrieve across participants. We use uh, we use uh, a distance uh, introduced in this uh, reference that I put uh, here, and we can uh, observe in the box plot, uh, we do we do that for each electrode, okay, on each condition, for each electrode, we we did a box plot, box plot of those distant values, and we can observe that the individual context tree retrieve uh, per participant at a given electrode concentrated around the mode context tree. Moreover, both the median of the distance and the interquartile range are small. So uh, these two things are uh, indicates a relative low inter interindividual variability. Uh, to evaluate how likely it is to obtain uh, our result just by change, we did a, a simulation that consists in the, follow, the following. We consider the set of all candidate three context tree that can be obtained after the from the pruning procedure, okay, from the mode selection procedure. And in this case, in the case of the quaternary, I will detail here uh, only the quaternary case because uh, the, the, the ternary results were very similar. Uh, for the case of the quaternary condition, we have 51 possible candidates in the set of all possible context tree that can result from the pruning procedure. And we randomly choose 19 tree uniformly in the set of possible uh, candidate context tree. 19 because it's the number of participants in our in our experiment. And from this uh, 19 tree, we compute the mode context tree. And we repeat uh, step one and two 10,000 times. After that, we, we obtain an empirical distribution of the mode context tree. That is uh, what is... Uh, presented here, I highlight in red the three structures that we obtain uh, as mode context tree in the, in, the, in the results. And we can see, for example, that the structure corresponding to the quaternary 
three, uh, have a probability of, of, of occurrence of zero, zero point zero two. So if we, 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 can, we can compute the probability that the quaternary tree appears as a mode context tree in exactly eight out of 18 electrons, that was our results. And uh, this probability is around uh, this uh, number here, which is, uh, which is uh, overwhelmingly uh, small. So the, the chance of having obtained the results we present by, by, by chance is, is very improbable. Well, as a, as a, as a summary, and some discussions um, with what we uh, see in literatures, uh, some contexts were estimated quite consistently. For example, context uh, two was uh, appears in all the mode context three for the quaternary condition, and in twelve out of eighteen uh, electrode electrodes uh, in the ternary condition. Uh, this subtree in the quaternary was obtained 11 out of 18. Uh, this other subtree, which are the third order uh, contexts, uh, were retrieved in half of electrodes for the quaternary condition. And for the ternary condition, this uh, subtree uh, was obtained in six out of the 18 electrodes. And uh, this was uh, the one that we that, that, that I mentioned that was obtained only uh, three times that uh, I will explain in a, in a moment. Uh, the, the reason uh, why uh, we consider this uh, is happening. Well, our results uh, show that it was possible uh, to retrieve second and third uh, order temporal dependence from EG signal we have here. Uh, second and third <clears> or <throat> the temporal dependency. Uh, also in our in our experiment, the retrieving of some subtree could be explained by the presence of a mid-smash negativity response. This is a case, for example, of this subtree in which the silent unit uh, zero appearing as a third element in each of this string. Uh, appear as a surprise for two of them here highlighted in red and as as uh, as unexpected uh, uh, as unexpected uh, to occur in the in the in the search context using the context tree approach however we went beyond the identification of a mismatch negativity response uh, in this subtree, for example, the, the weak bit one appearing as a second element in the two stream is expected to occur with high probability in both cases. Uh, the successful retrieval of these uh, cases attests that the volunteer is learning the structure of the sequence of stimuli beyond uh, the surprise level that can be in. Uh, in the signals. Regarding the spatial distribution uh, in the scalp, uh, the mode context tree uh, corresponding exactly to the tree that generated this, the, the sequence of the stimulus were mostly obtained in the frontal region, which is also coherent with what we uh, found in, in, in the literature. And uh, the fact that this subtree was identified only in three electrons uh, can be explained by the fact that the silent unit, that is the zero, the, 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 the last zero, uh, appearing at the end of, of, of the pair is always the consequence of erasing the most probable weak bit represented by the symbol one. So in all this this for all these cases, this this that zero appears uh, appears as uh, the fact of erasing the the, the symbol one, and uh, this is a typical situation of mismatch negativity in the EG signal triggered by the omission response. So we 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 think that in this case. Uh, this effect is masking the different 
between the EEG laws uh, uh, corresponding to, to those uh, contexts. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>